hello everyone so today I'm going to show you how to create a material like this uh, so I'm going to use this material when this character is poisoned with poison arrows so when I shoot an enemy character with poison arrows their normal skin will change to something like this to show the poison is going through his veins like this and he will go to some kind of a rage mode and he will attack their own kind and I worked on that part yesterday so today I want to show I want to work on the visual part of that poisoning so alright and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so let's see how does our current material looks like mm. let me select the static mesh sorry skeletal mesh and yeah this is the current material and this is the current texture I'm using so first I'll export this texture because I'm going to do some modifications create another texture using this and I'll go to Photoshop and open that right now this poison effect should be visible only on the skin of the character and the face well where the vis skin is visible basically and also I will show them in the hands as well because otherwise there will be not much I would see from distance mm, right so using this texture I'll add another layer I'm not an expert in Maya Photoshop I'll just show you the way I do it maybe there are better ways to do this so I'll just select all the places that uh, skin is visible well I'll do this without recording and show the end results okay so I have selected these areas and I'll I have already added a new layer and I'll fill it with white I can just select white here and I'll invert the selection with uh, here and fill the other area with black like this wait all right so now I'll hide this for now I'll yeah I don't need this for now and I have this veins texture so I'll use it like this let me make this one a little bit faded so I can clearly see the place I am placing the veins well there may be better ways to make a texture like this but this is the only way I know of so I am doing it like this let's see how it turns out okay one here let's duplicate this and 
another one here like this right now I'll group all these veins texture like this and restore this one so now I have veins like this right and now I'll add a color overlay to those veins in white like this and then I'll re enable this one and with the magic wand I'll select the black area and invert the selection like this and I'll hide this one again and here for this group one I'll add a layer mask like this well I'm not sure what happened but anyway I delete everything and wait yeah actually this is the exact effect I needed so you can so if I do like this now you can see there are veins only in the places I need them so over the skin and this white area so now I'll disable these layers and enable this one so this is just a layer that I added to the bottom and filled with black then I'm gonna save this one in PNG format I'll call it night wait and I imported that texture into Unreal and it looks like this so right I'll duplicate this material I'll call it night for sun add an M right and then here I'll add this texture into this newly created material right and here I this is the veins texture I'll multiply this one with the color vector parameter I'll call this emissive color and select green for this plug it here and this is how this material looks right now so let's apply this to the character model so that we can clearly see what's happening so here let me place uh, one model of this skeletal mesh mm -hmm. like this 
and let's apply this material night matte poison here now this is how it looks and this is not still good enough as you can see because you can see some difference to the closer but in the distance you don't see anything and we can do something about this yeah, let's uh, yeah let's create an instance of this material like this create material instance all right and let's open it and this is how it looks at the moment so i'll select this emissive color select this one and i'll increase this um, this v in the hsv parameters i'll increase this v to 500 and now you can see a clear shine like this and yeah let's assign that parameter material instance to this model now you can see even from the distance this character has some difference see all right now how can we give some intensity variation to this well let's go here and I need some noise maybe yeah we have this texture let's get this to here and let's multiply one channel this one with uh, let's take a red channel and add it to the emissive color like this and after that let's add a panel so that we can move this character extra coordinate panel place it here and for the speed x I'll try 0.1 yeah now you can see some variation on the veins so I'll apply this yeah now you can see some movement in these veins like the poison is flowing through his body it's uh, visible now to some extent but it's still not good enough I think so maybe we can use another better texture okay so I changed uh, this texture for the texture I have used here and now I can see a clear variation in the veins like this see so it looks like poison is moving underneath his skin so okay i'm gonna stop here for today and in the next episode i'll show you how to dynamically change characters material and maybe add some particle effects to enhance that character is poisoned and do some more stuff with that and thanks for watching if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club and I'll upload a source code update as well. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.